My name is Dr. Gavin Svensson. I'm the Curator of Invertebrate Zoology at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History, and we're going to do an upcoming trip to Rwanda in Central Africa to sample insects and establish new collaborative relationships with a conservation college that's based right outside of Nwangwe National Park. So there are three places in Rwanda that we're targeting for field work in the future. We're going to visit one main park in this, on this trip, which is in the south, uh, towards the western border near the Democratic Republic of Congo. Uh, this park is actually a part of the uh, African Rift Valley, and they think it was an old refugia rainforest system that during the ice ages maintained a tropical environment. So there's a lot of species diversity there, and presumably there's a lot of en endemism within praying mantids and other insect groups that we want to look at. We're also going to go to uh, Ankagara National Park, uh, which is a savanna environment more similar to Tanzanian uh, open savanna type uh, habitats. And then we're also going to go to Volcanoes National Park, which is up in the northwest, which is where the mountain gorillas live. Our accommodations, the Conservation College is actually located right near the park entrance of the main park that we're going to be visiting. And that park ecosystem is kind of wet tropical rainforest type environment with big trees. There's troops of chimpanzees. I don't know if you call them troops of chimpanzees. There's, there's groups of chimpanzees um, moving through that forest environment. And the Conservation College is actually, will have buildings right near the park entrance and there'll be a guest house within that. And for the most of the trip, we'll be staying within those accommodations. Collecting in this region um, really is not very common. And I've actually not seen a praying mantis specimen in any collection that I visited from Rwanda or Uganda. So presumably there's a lot of stuff that's there that nobody's ever seen or nobody's ever sampled before. So really we're not going in and targeting specific groups. We're just trying to get a handle on what's there and establish a baseline sampling so we can have some idea of the diversity that we're thinking about or looking into. We're in the initial planning stages with the education department here at the museum to establish a research-based education grant. Uh, we're going to be putting in a proposal next year to get funding to be able to have an educational-based collaborative, collaborative project using students here at Case Western and Cleveland State and as well as the students that are involved in our museum programming, like future scientists, for example, to bring uh, undergraduate level and high school students to Rwanda to interact with Rwandan conservation students. And those conservation students in Rwanda are actually the people that will eventually be employed by the national park system to oversee and guard the park area. So we can have a real direct impact with student interaction uh, for conservation training, just biodiversity training in general. So we're in the initial planning stages of that. So a lot of this trip is going to be to establish those relationships with professors and students in the country and develop the kind of programming that we want to um, uh, further look into in the future. We should be in cell communication, but we're not really sure of the coverage there. So I'll have my GPS transponder, and I plan on sending uh, short text messages like we did when we were on the Peru trip. Um, but this time we might be able to send pictures and you can look at these pictures on cmnh.org and track the progress of the trip with GPS localities and, and whatnot and see where we are and what we're doing.